Eight Seaman News from Granada now with Andrew Britte. Good evening. Manchester's dream of becoming home to the new National Sports Stadium has tonight been dealt a blow. This evening, the Football Association named Wembley as its preferred site for the stadium. Iona Brown reports. The FA's decision to opt for Wembley instead of Manchester was announced after a meeting of the Executive Committee to finalise their choice. Hours before, the British Athletic Federation had told the Sports Council that Wembley was also their preferred option, saying prestige had been a major factor. The news has been greeted with dismay in Manchester, where supporters say they'll fight on pending a final submission to the Sports Council before November the 6th. Civic officials are insisting the city's plans still represent the best deal for the country. Sir David Trippier, chairman of Marketing Manchester, said it was quite incredible. Two-thirds of the teams that had played at Wembley over the past ten years had come from the north. Parents on Merseyside are demanding increased security measures on railway lines following the deaths of three children in the last month alone. The latest victim, five-year-old Andrew Hall, was killed yesterday in Birkenhead. Kerris Griffiths reports. I'm told, I don't know how many times, hundreds of times, he stood on the bridge watching the trains go past and I've said to him, don't go near the tracks. And he says, no, mummy, you'll die if you go on the tracks. And I've told him, I thought he knew. It was yesterday lunchtime when Mrs Hall's five-year-old son Andrew slipped down the embankment here between Birkenhead North and Birkenhead Park stations and was electrocuted. Make sure all the fences are made and... Three weeks ago, a 16-year-old boy died when he fell onto the track from a bridge at Edge Hill in Liverpool. And only last Wednesday, 8-year-old Anthony Gill died after apparently touching a live rail between McGull and Old Roan on Merseyside. Rail track says it's doing all it can to prevent accidents. If I can say one thing, is for parents who have young children, please... Don't let them wander anywhere near the railway. We will look after the fences. We will try to make them secure. But if somebody really wants to get on our premises, they can get under or over any fence. Police have released a man in his 50s without charge after armed officers sealed off a busy area of Manchester for four hours. They surrounded a house in Toxteth Street in Openshaw where it was believed a man with a gun was inside. Negotiators eventually persuaded a man to come out. The Defence Secretary Michael Portillo says he hopes the Eurofighter project at British Aerospace will go ahead. Thousands of jobs in the region rely on its success. Mr Portillo was visiting the British Aerospace plant at Wharton near Preston where the Eurofighter was made. Last week the programme was thrown into jeopardy when Germany announced cuts in its defence budget. I don't think the Germans are going to pull out. They're a bit short of money. Uh, and I'm putting it to them that we know they're committed to this program. All our air forces need the Eurofighter. We're not going to save anything by delaying it. In fact, it's going to become more expensive. A couple from Lancashire have reappeared in court today charged with attempted murder and two counts of attempted kidnap. It follows an incident in July in which a boy of six was abducted from a pub in Salisbury. Earlier, a cab driver was forced at knife point to drive to Salisbury from Petersfield in Hampshire. Julie Bylong and her husband Douglas from Preston remanded in custody until December. The father of kidnapped Lancashire student Paul Wells has been making an appeal in India for his son's safe return. Paul Wells was abducted by a Kashmiri separatist 16 months ago. Simon Day reports. 25-year-old photography student Paul Wells from Blackburn was seized last July along with four others whilst trekking in the foothills of the Himalayas. One of the hostages, a Norwegian, was beheaded a month after capture and left in a remote forest. Little's known about the kidnappers, Alpha Ram, who've been fighting for Kashmiri independence. Paul's father, Robert, decided to travel to India himself, put more pressure on the authorities and find out exactly what was going on. Too much has been left to rumour and families have been left not knowing whether their loved ones are dead or alive. If they are dead, as some of the rumours say, we still need to know this, so that we can take them home and give them a proper burial according to our custom. <laughs> There's now hope that a new provincial administration in Kashmir will speed up the search for Paul and fellow Briton Keith Mangan. An investigation is continuing tonight into a helicopter crash in Staffordshire in which the pilot died. 
The helicopter came down near Leek on Saturday night after leaving a Merseyside for Derby. It had broken into several pieces and was still on fire when rescuers arrived at the scene. The Department of Transport's Air Accident Investigation Branch is now examining the wreckage. Finally, Wallace and Gromit have turned up safe and well after a grand day out in the boot of a New York taxi. The Lancashire animator Nick Park left the plasticine models in a taxi on a trip to the American city. However, after police stepped in and wanted posters were issued, the Oscar-winning characters were returned by the taxi driver, who even refused a reward. They've now been reunited with their creator. That's the news this evening. We'll have more from 6.15 tomorrow. Good night. Sponsored by First Choice Holidays for a brighter outlook. Most places will have a dry night with clear periods, but cloud will increase towards dawn and will give a little rain or drizzle, mainly on hills and coasts exposed to the south. Lowest temperature, 46 Fahrenheit. It will become dry and cloud will thin out gradually in the morning, but the afternoon will have sunny spells. It will be warm with temperatures up to 63 Fahrenheit, but with a fresh southerly breeze. Wednesday will be dry with a good deal of warm sunshine. Thursday will start wet, but it will become brighter, although showery rain will return later. Both Friday and Saturday will have sunshine and showers, with the best of the sunshine in the south. For a more detailed local forecast, call Weather Update, sponsored by First Choice Holidays on 0891 555977. It's a matter of life and death. Miserable. Compassion. <laughs> Romance. You don't think she's got some secret crush on you, do you? And drama. Who bothers my life, Sharon? Alice, wait, please! In a web of sex, betrayal, and murder, hospital life can become deadly. Staying alive, coming soon on Granada. of judgment now on Granada in the final part of Prime Suspect 5.